Rome is the birthplace of the Baroque style of art and architecture. Baroque was born here within the context of the Counter-Reformation in the 15th century as a tool to reaffirm and spread the beauty of Catholic doctrine and to revive popular faith. Over the course of a few centuries, the Baroque style shaped the city of Rome into the true capital of the arts. In the 18th century, Baroque would progressively fade out, giving way to more uncluttered and simple artistic movements such as neoclassicism. However, in the studio of French-born Roman painter Philippe Casanova, the Baroque spirit continues to triumph. When I first came to Rome more than 25 years ago, I didn't have a precise idea of what Baroque art was, but I remember the first time I entered the Church of Jesus, the great church of St. Ignatius of Loyola. And I found it so extraordinarily beautiful, this explosion of light and then of colors, and the harmony of it all. All of a sudden, it was as if Rome had become my home in a way. I felt extremely attracted to this city, and I came to think, little by little, that there was a special relationship between Rome and Baroque, that it was something characteristic of Rome. It is an art that personally knocked me over. It corresponded to my quest for aesthetics and to my religious aspirations. I found that both dimensions came together. They blend within the Baroque universe. I've always felt, without questioning myself too much, that if I was moved, then there was no reason why Baroque couldn't change the life of many others. This extraordinary beauty of Baroque art gives me the desire to pray. It gives me hope and makes me want to be a better person. Philippe Casanova says he always asks the Holy Spirit to guide his brush and to make his art a prayer. And he uses light in his paintings to express the supernatural dimension surrounding human existence. In fact, light is fundamental, especially since we're in Rome, and this city always has light. The paintings we see in Rome, those that we soak up when we live in Rome, are full of strong lights and shadows. This reflects a Christian vision of existence, consisting of suffering, concerns, imperfections and anxieties, but in it, Many wonderful things can also happen to us. This struck me and attracted me greatly to Baroque art. I found two dimensions. On the one hand, the chaos of reality, everything that can happen which reveals how mediocre we are and that we have reason to never be fully satisfied with ourselves. And on the other hand, the beauty of creation, which is present in this art. These two antagonistic dimensions of chaos and beauty, light and darkness, are characteristic of Casanova's works. As we can see in his most recent projects, a painting exhibited in St. Philip Neri's oratory, the church of Santa Maria in Vallicella, and a new ceiling for a Baroque church of Rome. Both are dedicated to the third apostle of Rome, St. Philip Neri, founder of the Congregation of the Oratory and a strong supporter of Baroque art. This project was made in honor of St. Philip Neri, who has always guided me while I've been in Rome and who always helped me. This composition will be made in honor of St. Philip Neri and will represent his pilgrimage, which is one of the most ancient Roman pilgrimages and is called the Seven Churches Tour. 
We don't know exactly if St. Philip Neri created it or reintroduced a more ancient tradition, but it is a pilgrimage I've been doing for years, and I have been thinking for a long time that I should do a painting, or rather a painting cycle, about this pilgrimage, since it is so important to me. It is through the pilgrimage that I've become so deeply enchanted by the beauty of Rome and that I better understand the spiritual vocation of Rome. Casanova differentiates himself from many contemporary artists by rejecting the very notion of contemporary art. which he sees as an ideological notion. He's convinced that beauty is intrinsically timeless and universal. I think beauty makes humans want to better themselves. It makes them realize that there is a part of beauty in every human. Therefore, the role of an artist is to try to reflect and magnify this beauty. And at the same time, if one is a believer, one thinks this visible and perceptible beauty is a reflection, however pale, of the beauty and splendor of God and His goodness. Otherwise, why would He give us this marvelous creation? Men are called to partake in God's artistic creation. As Saint Pope John Paul II described in his 1999 letter to the artists, all men and women are entrusted with the task of crafting their own life. In a certain sense, they are to make of it a work of art, a masterpiece. <laughs>